In a world where audio is so important, Sennheiser brings a microphone that can crush the competition at an affordable price. This is the Film World Sennheiser NKE 600 Review. So what you're listening to right now is the Sennheiser MKE 600. I've been using this mic now for several months, and if there's one word to describe my thoughts towards this mic so far, it is impressed, especially when you consider the price. This mic only costs about $330 on B&H Photo right now, which is where I bought it from, and it is doing absolutely fantastic in every scenario I throw at it. Now is this a single mic that will fix all of your audio problems? No, there is no such thing as a mic that will do that, but this mic, especially when you consider the price, has a very has a very impressive range and a very impressive set of capabilities that will suit you very well in many situations. So let's go over some of those situations that you might be using them for. For instance, I recently did a corporate job for a local college and everything where they were doing some interviews and stuff like that and I had a, a friend of mine operating this thing on a boom pole going directly to my DR60 Mark II audio recorder which we'll be reviewing in a future episode and it did a great job at that. We were in all kinds of different scenarios with air conditioners going and stuff like that and its pickup pattern was absolutely fantastic. It was straight on just like a good shotgun microphone should be wherever you pointed it that's where you were getting your sound from, and it did a fantastic job at that. Now, if you want a good example of what that pickup pattern is like, well, here you go. Peter Piper, he picked a peck of pickled peppers. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, how many peppers then did Peter Piper pick? It's a good question. Now, if you're watching this review, odds are pretty good that you're probably shopping for a new microphone, which means you're also comparing it to the competition. So what is this microphone's closest competition? I would have to say it's probably the Rode NTG2, which I personally have used and we used on the action short film, which you can watch the behind the scenes for right here. So how does it compare to the Rode NTG2? Well, price range, they're actually pretty comparable. This is a $330 microphone, whereas the Rode NTG2 is a $260 microphone. Sure, the Rode is a bit cheaper, but the price range is pretty comparable. Now, the reason why I opted for the MKE 600 over the NTG2 is because from my research, I found that the MKE 600 had a better high range and a better low range than the NTG2. It wasn't by a great margin, but it was a noticeable amount to where it seemed like the MKE 600 was a better option, for me at least. And I have used this in many situations, and it's done an absolutely fantastic job. For instance, the interview I did with Noptop recently, which you can watch here. Uh, I also use this microphone. I've been using it for premiere prep, for action, for several other things, uh, even corporate work and stuff like that. And it's been doing an absolutely fantastic job. So to close that subject up, would I consider this microphone worth the extra money over the Rode NTG2? In my experience, personally, I would say yes, but it's not a night and day difference, and the NTG2 is definitely not a bad mic by any means compared to this one. But this one does do very well. So now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and get into this microphone specifically. What's great about it? What's bad about it? Let's jump in. So from the first time pulling this microphone out of its box, you can just feel that it's a high quality product from its high quality aluminum build. It's a fantastic feeling chassis and it does not feel cheap in any way, which is a classic Sennheiser move. It is nothing short of impressive. Many microphones have to deal with phantom power. You have to get an external power source to power the mic itself. Well, within this microphone, that is not a problem. You can power it through phantom power if you need to, but there is also a spot where you can put a AA battery to run its power straight from there, and it's absolutely fantastic to have that ability. Like any good microphone, it does have an XLR interface, so you're going to get really good, high-quality audio from the microphone all the way to your recorder through that cable, so it will not degrade over the traveling. When you remove the included windscreen, it does have the very nice rib pattern on the side, so as to remove any outside audio. And on the side of the microphone, you will find an on-off switch, an LED indicator, and your low-cut switch. So now that we've taken a tour of the microphone itself, let's get into some examples of audio from this microphone. Hey, welcome back. My name is Java Moody. I was the director for the short film Park, and welcome to action.
Hello, Film Worlders. It's me, your host, Micah Pendleton, and today marks a very special day in Film World history. Since I've been here, I've been really close with all the staff because I'm on so many different teams, and they've all like taken time to get to know me and to teach me life lessons and not just book lessons. Everybody here is a team. No matter what position you hold here, from administration all the way down to the janitorial staff, we all one big family. We all work together. We'll give up anything for each other. My closing thoughts on this microphone is that if you are somebody who is looking for a good shotgun microphone in the under $500 price bracket, this will be a fantastic mic for you for many situations, if not most. I know that I'll be using this microphone for quite a while to come for everything from short films to client work and, of course, film world. I am absolutely loving this mic and cannot wait for my future of using this mic. It's doing absolutely fantastic and I'm really looking forward to it. That wraps up this review of the Sennheiser MKE 600. Thank you guys so much for watching. And before you go, I will be reviewing this microphone, which is a $330 microphone versus this, a $55 shotgun microphone. Just what exactly are you getting for the extra money in one of these microphones? So stay tuned for that next week. I cannot wait to get that out to you guys. That wraps up this episode of Premiere Prep. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've been your host, Micah Pendleton. Remember to live your life one frame at a time, and I will catch you next time. Bye.